Good morning guys, today I'm going to show you some very cool model buses I've got to show you today. And and these buses are a Dennis Tried and East Lanx Body Works. The East Lanx Body Work here. And the Dennis Dart Claxton President. With the, with the dual doors. So I think we'll start off with the dark. These are first older Corby models as well. So, yeah. I've got plenty of dark Dennis Dark buses, but it's different to this one. So, as you can see on the front there, you've got your window your and windscreen wipers. You've got the Metro Bus logo. And you've got Dennis and then the Plaxton logo on uh, the Richmond and this vehicle is an LV51. No, no. That's on the other vehicle. Is a W332 VGX system. Change of place and the fleet number on this bus is. Um, I can't see the feet them, it's too small, hang on. Okay. I'm, I'm confused, what's the feet number? I believe it's 37 or 372 or something like that. I don't know, like, I can't see the feet number, it's too, it's way too small. Let's see what it is. It's 332. It looks like a 7 because it was a freeze wearing off. But anyway, it's got your painted on destination plate, destination board. I mean, as you can see, you can, and you can tell that this used to be a, form, a former London bus because. Look at the destination board. It looks just like the one on a TFL vehicle, doesn't it? So you can tell it was originally a transport for London vehicle. You've got your painted on lights and indicators there. And you've got the vent at the front. And yeah. It's like my Crash Mr. Norcold models, they have the curved windscreen. Now I'm going to show you the other side of the model. So on the side there it says you've got a Metro Bus logo, you've got the T33 which is painted on. And the destination board is painted on by the way. And you've got the painted on doors. As you can see there, you've got an indicator. And the emergency controls for when you need to open the doors in an emergency. A bit plain this one is, but this isn't older than than the start, so it's it's a lot nicer than the newer ones. As I say, it's like literally so small I can't read it. And that's where it it comes from. Definitely the third block to the And you go there on this door, it says no exit, no entry. I mean. As you can see there, here, the wheels are quite cool in this model actually, most of my, most of my models I've got have um, rims that are a lot, a lot shinier than that. They're like a, a lot nicer grey. Anyway, on the on the back here, you've got the paint stuff and lights and indicators. You've actually got a shaped destination board on the back there, as you can see. You've got your registration plate as well. www.metrobus.co.uk. There's your fleet, the fleet number. Maybe you can see this one a bit better. 
It's either 332 or 352, something like that. You've got your window in the back there. You've got paint some vents there. You've got your fuel cap and oil cap there. Actually, no, it's not the fuel cap I meant. But that's the, um... What's that? I can't read really what it says. Okay, it's not going to focus, is it? Oh, yes, it's a telephone number. Yeah, it's 332, that's the fleet number. And then you've got... The, en the engine compartment on this bus does not open. But the other side is pretty much exactly the same as it. You've got the emergency door. And you've got your vents. Which are painted on. As with most buses, as you can see. You've got the painted on window details there. And on the other side here, you've got no fuel cap. I don't know where you'd put the fuel on this bus because I don't see any fuel cap. So imagine if it's a real bus. A string crate to, to, real, to real life size. You'd be able to, where would you fill it? But anyway, you've got your um, right hand indicator. So yeah. The interior. As with most quality models, it's not that well detailed you versus the North Quad model ones or the Creative Master North Quad. We have got one thing I do like about this model is you have got handrails. Show you underneath this bus. One thing I like about this is it made of not plastic, but it's actually all metal, which is really nice. It makes the bus feel a lot better quality. Makes the bus very heavy as well, which is a nice feature. I don't know if you've got no detail whatsoever, just, it's just painted blue. But yeah, this is a pretty nice model bus. So now we'll move on to the next model bus, which is this. The Dennis, the Dennis Trident East Lynx. So this one. Is um in the East Lanks body work as you can see, and at first I always used to think that from this angle and this angle, the East Lanks body work used to look like a Plaxton president. Just proof that it's an East Lanks body works bus. See, East Lanks is also made by Corby. Now the East Lanks have two types of. East Lanks buses have two types of windscreen. Look. I've seen some Dennis Trident's with that front windscreen as well. Some Dennis Trident East Lanks with that racing windscreen as well, but yeah. There's two different types of windscreen. Also look at the headlights as well, the headlights are completely different on both of them. However, everything else, apart from having the extra door, is exactly the same. See? This one's a Volt, this one's a Volvo B70L, but but you do see Dennis Trident's with, this, with that style of windscreen. I don't know which I prefer, which two guys, which ones do you prefer, guys? Tell me which one you prefer, because I can't decide. You know, I'm going to show you this one today, which is the Metrobus. Good one. So this here... You can tell that this used to be a, um, a travel on the bus as well because see that destination board? That's a lot like the destination board you'd get on a travel on the bus. So this this bus did used to be a travel on the bus. The race race on this one is LV fifty one YC C. 
Heat number is 417. You've, got, you've actually got real real wind spring wipers and ring mirrors. But the ring mirrors on this bus are very small. They're like, I don't know what I mean. On my other e bus here, yeah, the ring mirrors are very big. You've got your light indicators, which are very different to the ones in the e -slanks. On newer e buses. The new one's got the split into two windscreens because you've got that little line down the middle. The newer one doesn't. So, yeah, makes it a very nice model bus. More indicators at the top there. And I'll turn this bus around to the other side. So, you've got the Metro bus logo there. 261 Via Grove Park. Got your front door details. That's where it, there's a seat in front. I can I can read that slightly. If you guys can read that, let me know. And post in the comments what it says. Also, notice how like the rims are on this foot or the hubcaps, whatever they're called. Look how look how look how much lighter grey they are than on the darts. See. But yeah, on this on the side there you've got they've got the same doors as the stars actually. Look. They've got the same door details as the start. You've got the no entry stickers on the doors. So you you can't entry cut on this from this door. And this is a metro bus vehicle. And then you've got um painted on vents there. Another little vent there. So yeah. This bus has got a lot more detail than the um and the dark does. Focus like that. And this is worse than your T nine hundred, it doesn't even focus. There's the line. You can see there. Uh, it's it's an East Lancet bodywork as you can see. There's registration plate again, you've got lights and indicators. So more lights and indicators at the top there. You've got a detailed window there. And you've got a little window. I mean from the back it looks quite a bit like a Pat 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 Laxton president. Can't get my words out. And you've got your telephone number on the side there. This is probably one of my very few Corgi models, the, um, that one, does, that Eastlink does that as well, but as you can see, it is the only Corgi bus to have a opening entry compartment. Let's get my five ends so you can see it better. I'll show you inside. Okay, forget it, it's not. Any charge in it. I'll turn on the um, art deco table lamp here so you can see the engine compartments. It's just not a bit cheap, it's not interesting, but I'll turn it on. I'll show you the engine compartment on one of these buses. Excuse me about this. You can see in there the Euro 3 engine. So, yep. Also, not after once the video is over, but here is the other side of the model. As you can see, there you've got that very weird shaped window in the emergency door there. But you've got your fuel cap. Another little vent on the side there. Got the Metro Bus logo. Oh! Anyway, you've got the Metro Bus logo there. You've got another fuel cap there. And you've got another indicator. And 
the updates on both sides there to indicate it's for some reason by each door. Sadly, the one thing I don't like about this model is oh, it's not doesn't bother me too much though because most of my models do have this feature anyway. This here, the bottom of this bus. It's very good quality plastic though. So yeah. Those are my um Dennis Trident and Dennis Dart pack and this extra East Links. Bobo B70L. That's what we're bringing in there. Just for showing you the differences. Also, this one has the typical destination board that you'd get on a normal bus. But I'll do a review of this one in an end of a video. Oh! Yeah, I'll do a review of that one in another video. But. Then that is my Dennis Dart and Dennis Trident East Lanks two pack that I got from Corbett that I got off eBay. Thanks for watching and bye for now.